Another week of global bond yields, earnings expectations, and macroeconomic data signaling that stuff is beginning to hit the fan. But global stocks pushed higher and higher on surging central bank balance sheets and global money supply. But here in the U.S. was a mixed bag. NASDAQ outperformed dramatically. The transports were the worst. The Dow clung to unchanged, and the S&P was all about 2,800. But looking at this chart here, I see a nice arching chart. Everything is wonderful. Let's take a look. Today we're going to focus on the Dow. So we're looking at the spiders, the Dow Industrial Average, ETF, and the symbol is DIA. We call it the diamonds. This is a two-year weekly chart. I'm sticking with the weekly chart as I did last week. I think that's what uh, is going on is the weekly is in charge right now. So let's stick with it. So here we are at this point here, 260.42, after bouncing off the bottom there in mid-December. We've had a pretty good rise. We're not quite above this previous peak here, and certainly not this one. We'll be shooting for that peak here in the next uh, few weeks to maybe month or so. But right now, everything looks fine. This is one hell of a run from that bottom there. So you got to be careful because this is one of the best runs we've had in a long, long time. But looking here at the MAC, we're still below this peak here. We're still below this peak here. So you essentially have a downward trend. But the difference between the fast line and the slow line is increasing. So it's accelerating and things look good. There's no real slowdown that I see at this point here. Just want to watch out for that uh, downward trend line. Moving here into the MACD histogram, you can see much the same. We've had a bottom here, and this has rocketed on up. Looks like it's going to continue. Now, into the price rate of change, we've had our first sawtooth. So I'm going to be expecting to look at uh, some more sawtooths coming in the future here, kind of like in that area here with all this sawtoothing up and down as things rose. And the same thing here, a little bit different. This is more of a line drive where this is a little bit arching. I think we're going to do some arching here, but uh, only time will tell on that. But again, we have that downward trend like we're going to see in the other oscillators, such as here in the RSI, the relative strength, downward trend. That's not a good formation, so that's why I'm a little worried about uh, this next peak when we get there. But we're above 50. We're gaining some strength, so we just keep watching it. Here, the stochastics, same thing. Nice bottom, nice rise in the fast line and the slow line into the overbought territory. But it still looks fine. I'm expecting something that's going to look like this, where it uh, moved into the overbought territory, lasted for a couple of months. Hopefully, we can last that long. I think there's enough ump for it. But again, only time will tell, and we'll keep watching that. But the same sort of thing, just a real slight downward trend. Nothing as concerning as some of the oscillators, but we keep our eye on it. Volume looks good, and then the Williams also looks fine. We hit the top here, and we're starting our first sawtooth, such as uh, in this time frame here, or perhaps even all the way during that time. So I expect we're going to stay in the elevated area in the overbought territory above that negative 20 to zero for the next uh, month or two. So we'll just keep watching that. So everything seems to be on track for a continual rising market. Again, this was just the diamonds, but uh, the S&P looks somewhat the same. I haven't looked at the NASDAQ closely, so I won't comment on that. But so far, things look like they're moving on track and they look nice, regardless of what the pundits say out there. I think we're going to continue in an upward march. So for today, that's Chudog Charts. Thank you.